This is the Huawei MateBook X Pro 2020, and it's a glorious machine. It's light, it's powerful, and it's got a stunning touchscreen display. But what's new, and what do you need to know? Now, it's been roughly two or so years since I last checked out the MateBook X Pro, which is exactly why Huawei reached out, they want to sponsor this and this is exactly why Huawei wanted to reach out, sponsor this video, to show me and you exactly what's changed with the MateBook X Pro 2020. The unboxing experience is pretty simple, but it's a very premium experience from start to finish, because they pretty much just throw the laptop at you straight away. It's located at the top of the box, and it lets the laptop do the talking, which is a very sensible thing to do, because this thing looks incredible. I've always loved the design of Huawei's laptops. They tend to keep things very simple and focus on the things that are the most important. So here we have a huge display and this is actually in the 3 by 2 aspect ratio which immediately gives you more room at the top and bottom for extra pixels so this is useful if you're just browsing the web you can get more of a web page in but for someone like myself I find it's way more useful when we're actually doing some serious work. The other thing about the screen that you've probably already noticed is that there's not really any bezel at the top, bottom or any of the sides. And quite often companies will get around the problem of having quite chunky bezels by placing it all down at the bottom or at the top, which, okay, is definitely better, but it still means that the bezel is present. Huawei have got around this problem by putting a webcam located in the keyboard. It's a really clever design because it simply pops up and then pops away when you're not using it, which not only frees up some bezel on the screen so you can get this gorgeous display, but it's also very good for privacy reasons, especially in this day and age where you're taking a lot of Zoom calls and other conference calls on your laptop. I don't know about you, but I'm always a bit confused whether I'm actually in the call or not, whether the webcam is enabled or not. Being able to tuck it away is definitely something that is a big boon in 2020, that's for sure. While we're talking about the keyboard as well, it's also a design that I'm a big fan of because the keys themselves are very much large enough to use regularly. It doesn't feel cramped or anything. Trackpad as well is very big. It's precision certified. So using this laptop day to day feels great, but I'm actually gonna draw you towards the power button because this isn't always the most interesting things on laptops, let's be honest, but it's actually got a Windows Hello fingerprint reader in the top, which is quite clever. And again, I know I keep talking about the display, but this for me is definitely my favorite thing about this laptop. It's the super high resolution of this thing. So it's 3000 by 2000, three by two aspect ratio, IPS, and it just looks incredible. Now I'm gonna talk about performance and the upgraded specs and things in just a second, but something that I think is a real game changer if you've never actually used a laptop with USB-C before is the addition of these two super fast USB-C ports on the left hand side of the device. But the reason that USB-C is such a game changer and changes the way that I use a laptop is because it enables you to use one charger for everything. So inside the box you have this supercharger basically which is actually very much on the small side but this will not only charge this laptop incredibly quickly but it can be used to charge your tablet and your smartphone as well. But PC centric I hear you cry. I want HDMI, I want VGA, I want to be able to plug my boring work presentation into a work projector and actually show it to everyone. And this laptop doesn't have those ports. It's no good for me. Well, guess what you get in the box? A converter, USB-C, has a pass-through. You've got VGA and HDMI. There you go. Okay, going back to a little bit more of a serious PC-centric mode for a second, let's talk about the touchscreen. Once you've got used to the usability functions of just being able to open up Edge and just swiping up and down, maybe going back and forth between your web pages, all of this good stuff, Yes, you're not going to ditch the keyboard and trackpad and just use the touchscreen, but being able to use all three methods together is really useful. But who exactly is the MateBook X Pro for, you might ask? Well, that's a very good question. So here's a simple answer. The MateBook X Pro 2020 is pretty much for anyone that wants a do-it-all machine, but doesn't want to be weighed down with something that's very heavy or just overly bulky. New for 2020 is the addition of Intel's 10th generation Comic Lake processors which brings faster performance with quad-core i5 and i7 options available for up to 4.9 gigahertz and boost speed. Nice. Paired with 16 gigabytes of RAM and 500 gigabytes or one terabyte of storage, the result is a machine that effortlessly glides through general tasks and modest workloads with ease, regardless of whether it's your personal machine for business, creativity, or family use. I'd also love to congratulate Huawei on producing a machine that is so free of bloatware. It is awfully refreshing. 
On the desktop, the only thing that's pre-installed is this thing called PC Manager, which is a really useful application actually. And it will tell you if there are any driver issues or software issues, security patches, anything, it should automatically find an update for you. So you don't need to worry about it. Everything is just managed internally for you. And if you do have a Huawei phone, you go over to my phone and you can transfer files to and from the device actually just by tapping on the Huawei Share sort of logo at the top of the laptop as you've got NFC built into this and this obviously communicates with your phone and you can see all of the transfers and things that you've done from here. It works really well actually, but you can even go above and beyond this with what Huawei are calling their multi-screen collaboration technology. We've all been in that situation where you've got your smartphone and you're trying to work on your laptop and the two things together just sort of they get in the way because you're constantly swapping between the two devices. But with multi-screen collaboration, you can reply to different messages on your phone, but from your laptop, and you can navigate your phone's music library or pictures, movies, all of this good stuff from the laptop directly. So it's gonna save you a whole bunch of time and really help to speed up your workflow. The only real thing to be careful of with this machine is that as we're rocking an NVIDIA MX250 graphics card, this is not gonna replace your PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X anytime soon. This is a chip that's designed for hardware acceleration, for video editors, photographers, or anyone that wants to use a graphics card for encode and decode. I use a laptop every single day, and my use case is pretty much to reply to emails, do a lot of script writing for videos like this. I do actually do a little bit of uh, photography as well, but that's taken a bit of a back burner these days. You need a laptop that's gonna be able to handle pretty much everything you can throw at it, but be light, be portable, and be available for a very good price. And that is what this laptop excels at. In conclusion then, what exactly has changed with the MateBook X Pro 2020? Well, it's definitely more of an internal refresh when it comes to things like that faster processor rather than a sort of design overhaul, but that's totally okay with me. I mean, I'm not really sure what they could do to this to I don't know, improve the overall design. I'd be really interested to hear your feedback on this one. I don't think they can do that much to the screen, but maybe make the trackpad an inch bigger or something, maybe, I'm not really too sure, but I just loved what they did in the first place, that I don't think there's that many places they could go. But this has been the MateBook X Pro 2020 anyway, should tell you everything you need to know. If you've enjoyed it, please hit that like button because it helps out so, so much you wouldn't believe. And if you do want to see more videos like this, PC builds as well, get subscribed and they come straight to your inbox. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one.